What's up guys? Thank you guys for all the support and for watching my videos. If you want to get the most out of my channel, here are a few quick tips for you to be able to get the most and learn as quickly as possible. So first up, we have our Mike's Brush uh, name here. You could click on this and it takes you directly to my channel. You'll have access to all my videos. You'll have a backlog of you know over a hundred videos that you could go through watch and learn that <coughs> how, to, how to airbrush series in there um, that I would recommend. A lot of people ask uh, <coughs> how to use. Uh, clicking on that description button will open up this that shows the links to a lot of the most commonly asked questions. Uh, using these links helps the channel bring you more videos, better quality videos. Um, as always, I would recommend you stay subscribed uh, to keep up to date on the latest videos. And if you really, really enjoy the videos, you can consider joining uh, so you get these cool emojis in the chat, um, as well as access to some other features. Clicking that join button will explain everything for you. And yeah, like I said, you can click here, it takes you over to my channel. You can see a backlog of all our videos. Click on this videos tab. It shows you all, you know, everything, all the videos from the past. Um, I highly recommend it. Like I said, there's a hot airburst series up in there. And in the community tab is how I keep track or keep in touch with uh, most of the members, let everybody know what's kind of happening, what's going to go on. And yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. We could get back to the video. Good luck to y'all. And... Oh, man. All right. What's up, everybody? Bienvenidos. Uh, so let's get you guys in close. Saludos Douglas, Douglas Rodriguez, Ritmo, Fiestas y Eventos, Saludos. Alright, so we have this picture today, tenemos esta foto hoy. Uh, el cliente nos ha mandado esta foto yo pues por mí que es una foto muy aburrida pero eso es lo que vamos a dibujar hoy so, nomás voy a empezar con blanco uh, y voy a empezar con delinear todo nuestro parte de atrás pues nuestro profundo y luego voy a empezar a agregar las partes de color pues um, y sí so I'm just gonna start with some pack white and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of outline the background and start building up tones and stuff, so. back a little bit. There you go.
and this is white, opaque white, straight out of the bottle. So este blanco es derecho de la botella sin reducir. Uh, y eso nos permite hacer estas líneas blancas, blancas. La verdad es que no son tan blancas porque les puedes agregar más blanco y todavía más blancas se ven. So this is a pack white, straight out of the bottle. And, you know, that's how you're able to get that nice bright white, but even going over it just one time is not really white. You, you can go back over it again and then it builds up a nicer white. So we want to go over the background. Just one, one pass, kind of fade it out to the back. Focus on the background right this second so that we get it out of the way. And once we outline our characters in, we don't have to worry about going back. So here, I'm going to take my stencil here. one of my skull stencils right and this is one of the rejects so you can see it didn't get cut properly but I've been using it anyway but this center part here I'm just gonna take it right and then we're gonna move it take it and move it see that creates this creates this weird kind of effect going on here Creates these lines. Gotta keep the stencil clean. So, estoy tomando mi plantilla, ¿verdad? Que tiene estos hoyitos aquí. Uh, y la estoy moviendo mientras echando el spray. Y eso nos da estos efectos así. Es muy bueno mantener la plantilla limpia para que no nos salgan gotas. ¿verdad? What's up, Air Todd? How's it going? Terry Marcelano, how's it going? Alright, so you take that. You can even do it in this area here, just a little slower. Let's maybe see, get those little, those little tones in there. It's a quick way of just kind of cheating a little bit, but creates a cool effect, you know, little like streaks. And then around that we're just gonna add some like starburst effect. Some little stars. You know, random sized dots kind of randomly spread around. Alright, because just because it's like a cartoon doesn't mean it has to be simple. And a lot of times like these will actually take some Pretty cool effects and work, and it allows you to be more creative with it because you don't have to. You're not trying to achieve something so realistic and grounded. You know, so sometimes when you get a little fantasy with it, like this, like it looks, it just looks cool. So, así con estos tipos de diseños es muy bueno agregarle efectos y diferentes diseños porque, o sea, al contrario de cuando estás trabajando algo realístico y, y basado en la realidad si algo no está bien se, se ve muy muy mal pero en algo así cuando algo queda un poco se ve un poco más you know, lujoso se ve mejor eso uh, es algo para tomar en cuenta para agregarle efectos and so again I'm just going to start off with the I'll start with his face I guess but I'm going to I have it outlined here obviously already so I'm just going to kind of go ahead and hit that outline, just so I don't lose it. Si no le estoy dando lineado a las líneas que ya que ya había dibujado para que no se me vayan a perder. It's okay if you're a little loose with it at this point because we are going to go back 
and outline everything in real good and nice. But for now, we need a base for all our colors to be able to sit on. So. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's multitasking, man. You got to do that. Our dishwasher has been kind of jacked up, so I had to wash, like, a ton of dishes yesterday by hand. So I, I feel your pain. So yesterday we had to, like, run a... Uh, like a rinse type thing on the dishwasher. I'm just going to lightly fill this in. Gray over it, so it's gray. Yeah, I make it look easy. <laughs> did I? Did I really? Because that was work, man, even for me. It looks amazing hanging on the wall, yeah, though. So I'll probably post a picture later on of our wall once it's all finished. Because uh, we got this whole wall covered with art. We have enough canvases to cover the whole other wall right now with art. And uh, I think it's going to look amazing. So does anybody know this anime? It would be awesome to know what this is about. I kind of read a, like the Wikipedia summary. It sounds interesting. But it also seems like it ends up with this guy in this picture being dead. So I don't, I don't know. This guy right here. So... But it seemed interesting enough. I don't know where I would find it to watch it, so I don't know how to watch it. 
tried pulling it up on YouTube, but all it pulls up is clips. I really need to set up a, like a forum or something, some kind of website where uh, I can kind of check out your guys' art without it being so intrusive into everything else because the millions, not millions, but the, like hundreds, I should say hundreds, because at this point it's hundreds of people that have messaged me like on the my Facebook business page just asking me to look at their work or you know asking questions about airbrushing it's a little bit ridiculous <coughs> I don't know why it seems like if I put a video people think like they have to go beyond the video and go all the way to the YouTube the Facebook page and comment or drop me a message why can't they just drop me a comment on on the, on the video it, it literally helps more to put your comment on the video because if other people have the same question and I answer your question that everybody else can see the answer. And hopefully it leads to me having to answer the same question less. <laughs> Which, that, that is literally the, the whole point of the videos. But I do like it when you guys show me what you've done using what I've taught you guys. Um, so if there was like a forum I could set up or something where you guys could make accounts and then post your work and ask your questions that way. So then it would make a lot more sense to ask a question, I feel, I don't know. amazing what you do with just opaque white <laughs> on a dark shirt you can just keep building it up and moving around and building it up
only anime cartoon, I don't know what you call it, that I've ever watched was Dragon Ball uh, when I was young. And interesting fact, I watched it in Spanish because it played on the Spanish channel, uh, like after school. And that was the only time I could watch it. The only way. So it played on Spanish TV, but it did not play on the English channels, so. That's how I watched it, and I remember just being so intrigued. They also played Sailor Moon, but I never watched that. I was it was always Dragon Ball, and then right afterwards The Simpsons would come on, and yeah. And if I wasn't outside having to do something by then, I mean. I was watching the same thing that close to Sailor Moon. But usually I had a little bit of time when I got home, before everybody else got home. And once everybody else got home, then it was time to start doing. <laughs> so what I now realize were ridiculous chores that I had. Nobody else had chores like me. <laughs> Uh, so ridiculous. But, it's probably why I'm so good at so much stuff nowadays. I shouldn't say nobody has chores like me. There's probably out people like, yeah, we're raised rough. <laughs> you got light, then dark. What do you mean? Um, what do you mean I got light and dark? So, Oh yeah, Discord would be nice. That would work if I just had a separate Discord for... I know how to use Discord. Also, are you that delayed back that you're, you're listening to me talk about that um, or, or, or did, did that just come to you if that's how delayed it is man it's like wow no wonder people don't hang out and watch I got all those in Brighten up a little bit of this background right here. Right there. Okay, cool. That's gray in his hair. Gray in his shoes. colors we need we need to start with some red they all have red just gonna load up some red
So I'm just going to do the red on top of their ties. What are these called? Bow ties? And I'm just go ahead and cover the whole thing. And we could shade it and give it shape once we're working on some black and some gray. Probably black. Quedando con rojo aquí sobre las áreas donde lleva rojo y lo voy a cubrir completamente y luego le vamos a regresar al rato ya cuando estemos trabajando con el negro regreso con el negro y le echo líneas y detalle con el negro What airbrush to use? You lay down color light first and overlap it. Yeah, it's transparent color, so the more you build it up, the darker it kind of gets. Uh, right now, we're using the Badger 155 Anthems. Uh, that's kind of what I use for shirts. <clears throat> so, from there, let's see. I guess we could do the gray first. So I'm gonna switch off to the gray. And we're just gonna do the gray over the suits. Probably won't see much of a difference to the use there. And yeah, yeah, you could actually see it. It's changing it gray. And it's subtle, but it's there. And once we go in with the black, it'll really pop out. Matando con gris y es gris al frente, eso nomás es un co color medio. Casi no se nota, pero es bastante para que se vea la diferencia cuando le echamos el negro. Y si le echamos blanco, blanco, o sea, colores altos, se va a ver también. And... How long have I been airbrushing for? Jesus, man, am I... Why is all these questions... The same questions I've answered. See, I turned 34 this year. I've been airbrushing since I was 14. That makes 20 years this year. Uh, so now I'm gonna do peach. One of these is peach. Sand. There it is. Just 
Just shaking it up real good. And we're gonna go ahead and go over the faces and the skin parts with the peach. And we might have to hit this one twice. Really get that piece to really stick out. And this is where the blow dryer will come in handy because I'm gonna let the blow dry this off here in a sec. Give this a good coat, blow dry it, give another coat, and then move on to another color. I'm just being kind of quick about it, so I'm just going to go back and detail it over with the black. That color to be on there. So I'm gonna turn off the mic real quick so I can do the blow dryer on here. All right, so one sec. All right, so now we got the peach in there. <laughs> Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna come back in with a little bit of uh, dark brown or light brown, dark brown. Dark brown would be too dark. We're gonna use light brown here to just do some of the shadows on their skin real quick, as well as color in their eyes.
snooping on this guy. ¿Cómo? ¿Qué es el, uh, el...? ¿Qué tan bien o mal se paga el trabajo de aerografía? Ya aquí en México, luego la gente por eh, mucho, pero no sé qué, qué es lo que estás diciendo. O sea, sí te entiendo lo primero. So, uh, depende de, de lo que estás pintando, pues, de cuánto te van a pagar, qué tanta experiencia tienes. Mucha gente cree que nomás porque se compraron un aerógrafo ya de repente ya la gente les debe de pagar miles de dólares o algo así. Y eso no es así. Ay, lo, mucha gente también quieren cobrar, you know, también quieren cobrar bastante por lo que es algo muy simple. Y creen que la gente no se da cuenta, pero la gente sabe. So I'm just going to go back with a little bit of white and I'm just going to brighten up our white areas uh, before we come back in with the black and really outline everything. So just going to hit some of these edges. So I'm going to go back with the black and I'm going to give the so that it will be more black. antes de que le demos con el negro ya para que el, el blanco ya esté resaltado ya, ya esté puesto pues
Yeah, you have to finish watching it. <laughs> I didn't go through the whole thing on stream. I got all the way down to like the last part of the legs. And then I was like, that's enough on stream. And I just finished it up on my own. Got the yellow on the buttons. These buttons here are nice and like a golden yellow. Last but not least, we're going to come back in with the black and outline everything real nice. So, a lot of this is gray, so I'm just going to... What's up, Mark Werner? Thank you. Yeah, man. You really just take a little bit to get used to it, but once you do get used to a little bit lower pressure, you'll be you thanking yourself. you're doing t-shirts like this I think I have it about it's about 50 52 psi right now it drops down to 50 when I spray like. look and I still forgot the yellow Just spray these yellow in a minute
T-shirts are a little more forgiving. Uh, no, this is actually for somebody. If I was doing this for the stream, I'd pick something else. I actually have designs ready for the how to airbrush uh, live streams. I just need to actually find time now because in typical fashion, it's tax season, so a little influx of business around this time, so I'm just trying to manage everything. I've got the bike and a few other things right now that you got to paint. This is one of them, and a couple of other things. This one's just easy to show on stream because it's just a shirt, so I can just sit here and paint. The bike, I have to take it apart and do various things so it's better for a video. It makes a good how to airbrush video, a how to video, because there's so many steps and stuff, so. I left that one for a video. And then we got the garage stuff that I can't really say anything else other than it's in the garage. What's up, Leandro Silva? What is a good size shirt to paint on? I mean, any size shirt. The best size shirt to paint on is one that fits. Other than that, just 100% cotton. So that the paint lasts and sticks properly. Not only that, but those are usually the nicest, softest ones. I also don't know if you were being a troll with that question. <laughs> The word I think about is like this guy. What size shirt is the best to paint on? It's like you. I answered that so serious too. I should already know.
And that black really just kind of sets everything in. Yeah, exactly, dude. I don't have money to be painting a shirt that's just laying around. Why waste a shirt, too, when you could be having yourself a nice, good old time on some paper towels if you're just practicing? That one in there, now let's do this guy. <laughs> What's up, D'Angelo McCombs? Good, good. Glad the video's up. <laughs> you did stuff for them. You never seen them wear it, huh? Yeah, I've seen, seen quite a few people do stuff like that. So why try? <laughs> um, I don't know, man. That, that's on you. Why you want to keep going? <coughs> For me, it's like I have people asking me to paint. So it's that, you know. And when I paint like at events and stuff, like, oh, man. People will take off what they're wearing to put the shirt on. So like,
last but not least. Do what you like. People will see them and buy one. Yeah, that's pretty much the best advice. So... I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. There's nothing I can say. I can't think of a way to explain it. Besides, people like what they like, you know, and you just gotta... If you really love something, you just gotta keep at it until something clicks. And sometimes it takes, you know, sitting down and really just having a good look at your work, being honest, you know, got to be honest with yourself sometimes, or all the time, honestly, but I know some people like to gas themselves up, and, you know, but the truth is sometimes you just got to sit back, really look at it. Maybe even compare it, because that's what everybody else is going to do, right? Everybody else is going to look at it. They're going to compare it. You know, so you gotta, you gotta treat it and look at it from the other end sometimes. And, and you know, sometimes it's better just go back to the basics. People think I'm crazy because I tell them, yeah, do the dagger stroke. How do I get better at doing this? Do the dagger stroke. Oh, yeah, I'm. I could do the dagger stroke. No, do it better. Like do it until you could do it. You know, like it's perfect every time, and you could do it so fast that it's ridiculous. Cause then, you know, doing lines and stuff like this is real easy. You know, so. You know. That's that's the best advice I could get is maybe sometimes going back to the basics is is the best part because if you know you have the ideas to do it and you know you you're kind of on the right path but you're you're struggling to put those finishing touches on it and something sometimes just mastering the the bottom you know started at the bottom now we're here and you gotta really start at the bottom sometimes. And a lot of times, too, it helps to get away from family. Like, family is going to always just, you know, I don't know how your family is, but certain families will just tell you what you want to hear. Other families can be brutal and just be like, hey, your work is shit, you know, when it could be good. Other families can tell you your work is amazing when it's really not that great. So it's always good to get an honest opinion, something you're not related to or have any affiliation with. It's always the best. So I always tell people to do like markets and stuff, because then you get true, honest reactions, especially kids. Kids and drunk people are the most, they're either going to walk up and go, oh, your stuff's amazing, you know, or they're going to walk up and go, oh, man, I seen better, you know, la, la, la. you know.
hungry today, huh? Just finish up her hair. The graph background really helped you out. Oh, like your graffiti background. That's it, you're leaving? I have 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you. So, I think that's it. Oh, wait. Yellow. The yellow. some men in the background too so we got it loaded come back in with the white now we get it add some highlights to the background here
There's the finished design. It looks pretty good. Kind of took some liberties with it, but I think it looks all right. So, yep, with that, it's a wrap. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully this video helps you out in some kind of way. Um, as always, make sure you like the video. Make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date in the latest videos and live streams and all that good jazz. As always, if you want to help support the channel, you can click that join button down below and I'll let this video explain it all. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys later. Yo, what's up, guys? Thank you guys for all the support and for watching my videos. If you want to get the most out of my channel, here are a few quick tips for you to be able to get the most and learn as quickly as possible. So first up, we have our Mike's Brush uh, name here. You could click on this, and it takes you directly to my channel. You'll have access to all my videos. You'll have a backlog of you know over 100 videos that you could go through, watch, and learn that way. There's a very helpful how to airbrush series in there um, that I would recommend. A lot of people ask uh, what stuff I use. Uh, clicking on that description button will open up this that shows the links to a lot of the most commonly asked questions. Uh, using these links helps the channel bring you more videos, better quality videos. Um, as always, I would recommend you stay subscribed uh, to keep up to date on the latest videos. And if you really, really enjoy the videos, you can consider joining uh, so you get these cool emojis in the chat, um, as well as access to some other features. Clicking that join button will explain everything for you. And yeah, like I said, you can click here. It takes you over to my channel. You can see a backlog of all our videos. Click on this videos tab. It shows you all, you know, everything, all the videos from the past. Um, I highly recommend it. Like I said, there's a How to Airburst series up in there. And in the community tab is how I keep track or keep in touch with uh, most of the members. Let everybody know what's kind of happening, what's going to go on. And yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. We could get back to the video. Good luck to y'all.